So for alarms, you go down to the alarm section, click on alarm definitions. Uh, and then from here, you can right click, add new. And just to go, just to give you a brief overview, um, recording server events, there is various events here that are available. Um, all servers, since you have multiple servers, and then the, t the time profile is always, um, I think for me, I would like to see an email every two hours. Um, there's various other frequencies available. And then you can enter in some other information here, like how high of a priority this is for you uh, and so on and so forth. Auto close alarm I have enabled so that once the archive disk is available, I stop receiving these uh, alerts. And these alerts would specifically be coming through the customer dashboard as well as through the milestone alarm events tab in the smart client. Um, rules. So you've already had, you already have your notification profile set up. You already have uh, your um, SMTP server set up. So if you go to rules, you can create another rule for database storage unavailable. Prefer act, perform at an action on an event from your server or all servers if you want. Basically just click on click on this to find out, you know, what what you can do. So for example, you would click on recording servers, um, database storage unavailable. From in your case, all servers, I only have one. From, um, I would say, for me, it would just be any time. So, And I think we have to go to time profiles to set this up. I'm just gonna set it up for 24 seven. Maybe I have to set that up before I move forward here. And then the action to perform would be to email me Uh, 
it's the recording server. It's the whole server, so it's not one device. I guess we have to add But this actually, I guess this is images and sound. I don't necessarily want the images and sound. I just want to see the email. So. And also send to customer dashboard. Perform stop after once it's available again. Nope, that's not how you do it. That's how you do it. 